MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. We're always looking at five axis machining technology. I'm at Loftlock Precision Engineering with Jim. Jim, this spinner machine, how long have you had this machine here on site? Uh, it's about 18 months. Okay, now, now buying a five axis is a big decision, there's a lot of investment. This is a little bit more than a five axis, isn't it? Yeah, it's twin bed and a uh, total of 1500 mil. Well, that's what I like about it. So I'm going to, can you open your yeah. door and I'm going to open this one because you can see. Wow, look at this access. I mean, access is everything on a machine, so it's very important to be able to get in and load uh, componentry. But I suppose the flexibility this offers you is to do longer parts as well, does it? Absolutely, yeah. It's a flexible machine, so we, you know, we've got two beds, or we can use it as one bed. So, and do you use it uh, predominantly for five-axis machining here, or do you do you use it as a combination? Predominantly five-axis, but you know, we've got that flexibility that we can use it for you know, combination work as well. But because for, for, for our viewers, this machine here, you've got a fixed table here to the left, and then you've got a five axis table here. So it does give you complete independence as well, doesn't Absolutely. it? If you wanted to do five axis work. So what's the split for you then? How, how often are you using the five axis table? Um, probably three quarters of the time, I would think. And is it a fast machine? Are you, are you getting parts yeah. of the machine yeah, quickly? It's a good machine, solid machine, reliable, good quality parts. And, and would you say that when you bought it a couple of years ago, you, you, would have, you would have had reps knocking on your door, buy this five axis, buy that five axis? Why, why did these guys at White House get the order? Uh, I think they sold quite hard, and I think, you know, at the time we felt it was the right machine, you know, with the flexibility that's built in with the two beds and the size, that we felt it was the right machine for us. And would you say also that actually the footprint, I know it's, a, it's got a big capacity, but it's not that big a footprint, is it? Considering the, the working area, it's not as big as you think it would be. So, yeah, it fits in well, and it's it's one of our you know our better our blue chip machines really. And, and what are you machining on here? Aluminium mainly? Predominantly, yes. That's for the aerospace industry. Yes. Because you've recently got your AS nine thousand one hundred, so this is going to come in handy to tackle Absolutely. those sorts of. Problems. Absolutely, and it, you know with the five axis capability, it gives us options to look at more complex parts. So there you have it guys, if you're looking at five axis technology and you're thinking to yourself, I could do with a little bit more flexibility, I could do with the, the, the possibility of doing three axis longer parts as well, then this spinner U, this is a U1520 from White House Machine Tools in the UK, should be something to consider.